Hi guys, so for today's Freeform Friday, I will be playing with the new auto ship from Diamond Press from the Ultimate Card Making Collection. So that's something that came out, I think this is auto ship number three, so at least, you know, every two months um, back, right? So like six months ago, but um, the last time Diamond Press had an auto ship. So if I have any links in the description box, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase I'm Steel's links. As of right now, it's not for these items because these are an auto ship. So unless you bought the card making collection when it first came out and signed up for auto ship, you're not going to be able to get this quite yet. And to be honest, I don't think I've seen any of the auto ships come into stock, like number two or even the first one. Um, I don't think. So, you know, hopefully maybe they'll have some uh, extras because I know a lot of people really like this one. Uh, but again, whenever they first had the launch with the uh, today's special, that's where you would have signed up for that. Um, but I think I'm definitely going to make a rainbow and we're going to have our little clouds and probably this background piece here. Is it a mat or is it? Oh, okay. Intro oh, okay. So I thought this was going to be a mat layer um, with that middle section, you know, but it actually cuts out completely. So it's like a little frame. So um, then I'll, that'll change up what I do for the background because I was like, okay, I'm going to use this in my mind, you know. <laughs> so, um, Let's see here. Just a lot of die cutting today. That's generally what I like to do. I think I will stamp probably the sentiment. We do have um, little stencils in here that I didn't open up, but we do have these adorable stencils, of course, that we can get artsy with if that's what we're looking for. And this is what I'm going to use for Freeform Friday, so, you know, Freeform Friday is a little more easy going. Oh, check this out. I didn't even realize on the edges of the stencil they have the little cloud line, so you can use that, you know, on your projects pretty cool because it's all around that's really sweet and then this one has little raindrops there's some kind of weird ghosting on there you see that Ooh, and it's just like some little lines um then we have like the little sun rays the sunburst which of course you can position wherever you like on your papers and then we have the little stars so for me i was going to just keep it real clean and real simple with the background but again i'm gonna have to do something a little bit different with that um and these other pieces but actually Maybe we'll use that little cloud. I'm intrigued by that now. <laughs> um, so let me grab some papers because I am going to do like the rainbow just like this basically. So I need a couple different colors. The pieces are all separate which is really nice. Um, instead of having to run it through and have a bunch of colors you don't want if you want the rainbow order or however you want to do it. But there are four dice so you're going to choose four colors clearly. Um, we're going to use this little guy. But maybe I'm going to do a background with like little, you know, using this guys. So let's think about that. Uh, so let me grab some papers and we'll just get right to it. So I probably should look for this stuff before I came back. Basically, I'm going to do a cloud. I'm gonna use this as the die that's gonna cut this for me. And then we're gonna also use it later. But for right now, we're gonna make a little, a little messy project. <laughs> and I'm just gonna bring this out. And you know, whichever side of these clouds you wanna use, obviously that'll be great. Um, this is this a green? Oh, it's a green. Okay, let me... Oh, you know what? Actually, I have these right here, ready to use. And let's grab the blue one. Here's some little blending brushes I recently picked up on HSN. And do I want to go like this? So, do this as e like how you want to do it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if you like starting up at the top, doing the thing, bringing it down, doing more, or from the bottom up, however it is you like to do that, I'm going to get some little cloud effect, hopefully. And I want it to not really be like the the thing that people notice the most. So I'm going to use Salty Ocean. Yeah, not too, too bright. And I'm just going to create some clouds. Um, just kind of adding a little color here. And it doesn't have to be like too much, you know. And we can move this around so it's a little bit different the next time. And I don't know if you can see when I bring it in, it's going to leave a little bit of white. And that's what makes the differentiation there. And we have four different places that we can do this with. And I am coming in like this, but if you want to start in here and go out, whatever it is that you want to get your little blue. And again, I wasn't trying to put it too heavy. So it's just a little something. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very light and very subtle in the background. And, oh, there goes a siren in typical fashion. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just finished that up while that siren was doing its thing. Okay. And why I did that is because I don't care where it actually ends up. Look how pretty. I'm just going to get this. And what, the frame is basically what you're going to have cut out. You can see this is a scrap piece of paper. So uh, wherever you see this cutting, 
that's where your little images are going to be, right? So if I can go a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to run this through and we're going to have a background piece that I'm going to pop in to whatever we do here. But I think I'm also going to run this through just a regular white piece of paper because I want this little frame to be like, just like eyelet lace, just pretty and pristine. And then we have this other piece, but it's going to have to be two pieces of paper, <laughs> two different pieces because um, I'm going to run this one through to get that background that I want. Ah. And then I'm gonna run it through a clean white piece of paper. So this is what I want now. This is what I'm gonna want later, but obviously I don't want it to cut off like that. I want it to full frame. So I'm gonna run this through a white piece of paper to get a white frame. Okay, okay so I changed my mind as one does on Freeform Friday. <laughs> I went ahead and cut this out of some light blue glitter paper. A lot of times I don't link the individual papers to tonic because honestly I prefer to buy papers from them in like bundles and stuff like that. But also, um, I don't know, but I, I should probably start doing that. I guess there was no but also, that's it. <laughs> and sometimes the papers are out of stock. So a lot of times it's like the metallic and glittery papers that are out of stock. But um, so I cut this guy and this guy and that's gonna go there and this will go in the center. Oh my goodness. So cute. I will say, I don't know if you can see the paper is like different sizing this than this. It's because obviously they're different papers. And again, sometimes when you're putting dies through, like this will flex a little bit. It just depends on the rollers and how they hit. So it might have stretched a little bit differently than like the first time again. Um, but either way, I think I'm just going to put it like this. I don't think I'm going to put another background piece. And then we'll have our little rainbow and things. So let me clean up a little bit and grab papers for the rainbow, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's that. We'll put that to the side. And then I just grab these colors because I do want to do rainbow order, but in, like, light kind of weird colors. This green is actually a lot brighter than I thought. <laughs> but it's okay. So red, and then yellow instead of orange, and then the green, and then this purple is what I'm going to do since we have the four dyes. And so I just chose some colors that I like. So this outer one, we're going to do the pink. And then this guy. And then this guy. And then the purple. As far as the little clouds, so I'm going to do is stamp some of the faces and then cut the clouds. So I will do that in just a minute, but I'll be right back with these guys. These guys cut. And then, like I said, I want to put little smiley faces. And then we'll cut clouds out. So if the faces fit I don't know they're not really meant for that they're meant more for this for the um the sun in the background but I thought if I can get a smiley face on here I will do that so if I can do that I will but let's stamp one and see if it fits <laughs> if it works uh because sorry I was gonna say cause I'm not sure which one is it the bigger maybe it is the bigger clouds if it's the bigger clouds then we have no problem okay I have this <laughs> scrap piece of paper it's actually like a little bit um pearlescent and if we're using the bigger cloud, then I will stamp that. So cute. And then I'll do the other one too. And we also have little cheeks in here if you want to give them like rosy cheeks. But they're going to be cute. So the clouds to have a little face on them. Adorable. Using VersaFine ink. I don't know if I mentioned that. There it is. That means it does have to dry for just a minute. But basically what I'm going to do is take... Put that away. Oh no! You guys already know I stuck this to the <laughs> sheet here. Where's the other set of... Oh, here. Like, where are the other set of dies? Or where is? Where are? Um, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought it'd be the smaller clouds for this. Let's see. These aren't exactly like tucked one after the other. They're kind of more with a little space in between. I don't know if you can see that. Let's leave a little space here and there. Yeah, I guess so. So what I'm going to do is cut these guys just like that. Just kind of eyeball where I want it to be. And then same thing with this guy. Okay, and I'll be right back. So my alarm went off. I got to go pick up Dorian. And I said I was going to wait on this VersaFine. And I did not. But I'll clean it up. It's a little messed up there. Uh, I'm going to clean up. And then we're going to put our card together. Hey, guys. So uh, I did cut this one out again. Because, again, I used VersaFine on shimmery paper that... It wasn't dry yet, so his little face smeared just a little bit, just right in there. But okay, so we have this, we have this. What I need to do is actually get these things stuck down first, and then I'll, what I'll do first is I'll center this little guy. 
Now, I don't know if I want to use this glue or something else. Oh, let me see if this is even ready to go. And then I thought I took all these little things out. Well, I'm just going to do is put some glue all over the back of this. Um, as well as I can. And then just center it and stick it down, okay? So I'll be right back. It's going to take a little second. Okay. Yeah, so interesting. I thought it was going to be like a little floppy. Uh, I'm going to put this here. Now, I did this in this direction. But you could definitely have done this in portrait. I think these are skinny enough to go this way too, are they? Yeah. But I think it fits better in this landscape direction. And this guy, I'm just going to put it down in the center because, like I said, it's a little bit different than whatever the glitter paper did. I don't know if you can see the glitter paper is like a thinner paper. I don't know how to explain it. The background of it, so like it's stretched, you know, where this guy stayed pretty much where it was. So it's just a little, a little different the way it fit in there. I'm just gonna leave that there, and then this little guy is probably gonna be somewhere in here. Actually, we need it in enough. Actually, should we center it. I didn't want to center it. You know, I always like everything a little bit off center <laughs> um, when we're kind of playing. Oh, you know what? We can go like this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'll start with this guy out here. And then, like I said, there's a little space in between one and the other. So let's just put this down first see where we're at and see, you know, where that ends up being. And then again, we need to have enough of that. So let me bring it up just a little bit. Okay, and then the next one is going to be here and I'm just gonna put it down but kind of giving it some space whatever seems to be natural in a way I think what you're doing is you're lining up these bottom things and that'll leave you the the space that should be there I opened my back door you guys too so you're probably hearing traffic possibly just cars driving by yeah I think that's the best thing is to level it from the bottom that gives you the spacing you're looking for and then this last one how cute so again, I just went with lighter colors of what typically would be, you know, red, orange, yellow, blue. I went with the purple. Cute. And then we have these little guys. And then our sentiment. So I'm just, hmm, I'm just going to stick these down. Now I know usually we pop them up or do something like that. And you can definitely do that. Ooh, or make the clouds and then run them through um, an embossing folder. That'd be cute too. Give them some texture. I think you can still stamp on them if you did that. I don't know. I've seen that a lot of times when people either emboss first or they stamp first and then emboss or whatever. But look how sweet and just like soft. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. And I was not sure what I was going to do for the sentiment. And we have a little banner and everything. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I think I'm just going to put like hello just down here. And I'm going to stamp it right on there, which I know is dangerous. But I'm going to set this up on my stamp position. I'll be right back. So all I did was do that. And I put tape just to make sure it's going to hold it really well and we'll pop this on here I will try to use my wear memory keeper stamp positioner more often but that thing is huge that 12 inch one like I don't really need to use it today and actually one of the gals that left a comment saying she picked it up and that it's too heavy for her and I did mention in the video that it is it's heavy um, and I like that because I feel like it felt like quality but at the same time it is heavy <laughs> so uh, it's probably not for everyone you know um, just because of that uh, let's see here and actually, that reminds me, I need to respond to that comment. Look at that. I think it worked out pretty quick for a little hello. Look how cute. All right, guys. Well, that is my card for Freeform Friday. A uh, little stenciling. I love that stencil. I love the, you know, using the outer edge of it. Just a little soft something in the background. I love the way it pairs up with that blue glitter and how sweet this little rainbow is. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.